And welcome back everybody to Park City, Utah for the Big Sky Football kickoff day number two. And it's another edition of the Barney and Oak Show. We're with Portland State coach Bruce Barnum. Barney, always a pleasure to sit down with you, my friend. Oaks, they had us back. Season two, how about second, that? Second, yeah, second year. They, it, it's gonna go. I mean, they, but I heard they put a lot of money into this. And they're gonna travel us around each uh, venue um, on Saturdays and t Sundays to talk about the games. Yeah, but yeah. This is a good start. Yeah, this is a good start. A lot of worse places to be than Park City, but this is your second kickoff. Describe what it's like doing this now the second time compared to the first time you did it last season. Uh, Without Mike Lund, I'm nothing. I, I, I would have been in the, the hot tub looking for you, Oaks, last year. But it was a little, it's different. Last year, you know, Coach Barnum walked by and everybody kind of looked at the dirt, you know, like you're looking for that prom date you'll never get. But this year, they actually know my name and it's, uh, they're saying hi. It's fun. Um, and I know what to expect. So uh, it's a great venue. New commissioner, a lot new going on, not just at Portland State with our facilities and uh -huh. everything, but you come here and there's new people, new faces, and I've never seen you so happy, Oaks. I'm, that makes me, me smile inside. Well, that, that's good. <laughs> that's good that I'm looking that way at least. So, storybook season last year for the Vikes, Barney. I'm, I want to make sure I read off all these accomplishments right. Get two wins over P5 schools, or one win over P5, two FBS wins, home playoff game, multiple wins over top 25 programs. You started the season as, a, as an interim head coach. You're now permanent head coach with a deal. Was part of your off season spent pitching the story of the 15 Vikings to producers in Hollywood? No, you know, it, it was, it's why you do it. Mm -hmm. well, you and I ran into each other and, and a lot of people, our university, our town was involved with that season. And, um, you can't buy those things. It was one of those moments that everybody tries to, you know, reproduce. How can we get that? How do they do that? It's why we coach. It's why we're involved with athletics in, in a sport instead of a hedge fund. But um, it's round two, you know, when we sat here, this is where it started last year. Yep. So um, you and I joke about season two, but it's a new puzzle, ready to go. Yeah, you were in the National Coach of the Year Award last year for all the on-field success and bringing a really team first mentality to Portland State. You guys have had to deal with some, some tragedy, some mm -hmm. adversity throughout the off season. How has that team spirit helped carry the entire program and the university at large through those struggles? You know, three tragedies. Um, you and I have talked about the third, but it showed me what Portland State is, you know who my administration is, who my team is, because the response, we're not just a, a classroom and a city down, or a school in downtown Portland and with a beautiful campus, and this is our president, and this is our provost. I learned who we were, and that was pretty cool, the response and the, the general caring to a group of student athletes, not just a football team, because they all knew those kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, between that, it's, you know, I know who Portland State is and I'm proud of it. And then it showed me who my team was. I, I have some good leaders. The leaders brought my group together. Um, is he going to help on fourth and one? I don't know. But, you know, they're sitting in a room now, Oaks, and, and they're not texting. They're looking at each other and saying, how's your family? How's your people? You know, and they know each other's name. They know where each other are from. That's pretty cool. It is definitely cool. Here with Portland State head coach Bruce Barnum, one of those leaders you talked about is Alex Caressa. Mm -hmm. I asked him a question yesterday. You know, he was cast off as a quarterback by virtually every Division One program in the state of Utah. You took a chance on him. What is it about Alex Caressa that changes football games? That's what nobody knows that. We did take a chance on it because of what we saw in film and, and talking to him. He's got the magic. You know, he got out of some stuff and he made some plays last year. Ask the coaches we played. They saw it too. You saw it. And you're just, he would make it and you're like, R really? Wow. You know, and then you kind of walk the sideline a little prouder. I call that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it shouldn't have worked. Um, Alex Chris is a leader. His parents did a he heck of a job uh, before we got him. Um, come in, you know, they get all the accolades. But it's fun to see him in Portland running our football team right now. Definitely as a leader. Last question, coach, then we'll let you get out of here. Again, the roller coaster in the last 12 months, 
so many highs, some terrible lows. How do you try and center all those things and get it back to square one as you get ready for the start of the 2016 season? Give them a schedule, give them goals. Uh, again, uh, administration and our boosters gave them a new weight room mm -hmm. and a new field. So there's, there's a lot of, honestly, what kids like cool stuff going on. Nike rebranded us. Yeah, I, I have a, yeah. You a have a logo a, now. A logo, yeah. that's going to be on all our shorts. So uh, kind of a, a genesis. A phoenix coming out of the ashes, here we come. Um, but I want to establish a program, Ogs, and I like step one. Step one was pretty good. We'll see how step two goes. Coach, we'll see you in Portland in a few weeks. We're going to make a fall camp visit out to the Rose City, so it should be exciting. All right, Ogs. All right, that's Bruce Barnum, the head coach of Portland State. We'll take a quick break, then we'll come back. Ron Gould, the head coach of UC Davis, after this break on WatchBigSky.com.